Welcome CLC. Thank you so much for joining me here this evening. I hope you are having a fabulous week so far. So today I just want to talk a little bit about the attributes of God. Now, maybe this is something that sounds like a really big topic, but really attributes just the characteristics of God, because it's so important that as we grow and mature in our faith, that we truly have a deeper understanding of who God is and his character, because you know what? We can judge God or think about God according to maybe our human um, relationship with a father or something like that, because we're thinking of God as a father. But really, truly, we want to know God for who he says that he is. And one of the big words that you might hear, you know, within um, our church or within another church, but just um, a term that is used frequently in Christianity is the, the term that God is sovereign. And what exactly does that mean? I mean, sometimes it just is feels like a big term. But what exactly does the sovereignty of God mean? So going into Colossians 1 verses 16 through 17, it says, For through him God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made the things we see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else, and he holds all creation together. Christ is also the head of the church. Oops, went a little further than I needed to in that passage. But when he existed before anything else and holds all creation together. So this is part of the sovereignty of God, recognizing he is in full and complete control. But I also know that that can bring up some questions, right? Because um, when something bad happens or what we see as bad, maybe somebody that we prayed for has passed away. Maybe um, something happens in your own family life. There's so many instances of things that happen, a tragedy, a plane crash, or, you know, a bus recently was on the news that that crashed and some of these things could maybe have been prevented by man's actions maybe you blame the doctors or or um a number of other people for different situations or circumstances and yet god says he is in control and i don't know if you ever truly stopped to ponder some of the men and women who lived in the Bible that the Bible tells us about, I know that Joseph in the Old Testament is one that's a powerful example of someone who went through a really hard time and yet God had a purpose. And how, you ever wonder how did he keep the faith? How did he continue to believe that God was sovereign? God knew his situation. And so little backstory of that is Joseph was one of um, the 12 brothers, and he was the father's favorite. The brothers got a little bit jealous. And one day when he was sent out to um, kind of keep tabs on them, you might say, but regardless, he, his brothers wanted some revenge and threw him into a pit and then sold him as a slave to a traveling caravan and he went on to become a slave in the land of Egypt but he had a lot of favor there and eventually he helped Egypt through a famine and had the wisdom to um, help the pharaoh store away all of this food and so one day his brothers came, they had traveled a very, very long distance, but the, because they had heard that Egypt had food, came to buy food and Joseph was there to sell them food. And the, you know, the long and short was that God wanted to preserve Joseph's family. And he did that by allowing Joseph to be sold into slavery and to live some really unpleasant years. And yet, that happens to us sometimes and it isn't always easy 
through the midst of a, a trial or a long season or all of these unpleasant things to to say, I believe that God is in control, that he knows what's going on and he's working everything out. There's another verse of scripture in Romans 8 that says, God works all things for the good of those who love him. Um, and it does take some faith for that. And sometimes we just have to come to God and say, help me, help me with my unbelief. I'm struggling with this. I want to believe that this is who you are and this is what you do. Um, but, but help me build my faith in this area. So those are just a couple of nuggets for you to take with you about your week. Just want to close in a word of prayer. So Father, I just thank you for each and everyone here. Lord, you know, in our humanness, it is sometimes challenging to um, want to or know how to hold on to the truth that you are sovereign, that you're in control of each and every circumstance and detail. And we just ask that you just help us when we struggle to believe and just um, that we might draw near to you and seek um, to, to have you continue to fill us with your faith as we go about each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So God bless you and look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Be sure to check us out in person at 20 West Main Street in Catskill, meeting at 1030 on Sunday mornings. We'd love to see you there.